Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. About a month ago, I was contacted by Ryan. He's the owner of Nalu Leather Company. He's a damage controlman currently active duty in the United States Coast Guard stationed in Honolulu, Hawaii since 2016. I was a military brat, so I spent four years in Honolulu. It's absolutely beautiful there, so I know why you guys want to stay there. But he contacted me saying that he's been making wallets since early 2022, and he got started by watching wallet reviews on YouTube, including my own. And after being addicted to wallet reviews on YouTube, he started watching how to make leather wallets, and then he opened up his own company. Nalu Leather Company. Now, Nalu means wave or surf, which is what he feels like he's riding a wave when he's currently making wallets. I think that's a fantastic name, especially being stationed out in Hawaii. And just so you know, I'm reading directly from the letter he sent with these wallets. Uh, he says, him and his wife grew up in Idaho, which they call home, and all the wallets that I have right here are named after their favorite locations in Idaho. So we're about to go check out the three wallets that he sent me here. Um, and he also gave me a discount code for my subscribers, 10% off. And I'll give you guys all that information in my description box below, and I'll mention it at the end of this video. But first, let's go check these out. So here are the three wallets that Ryan over at Nalu Leather Company sent over to me. This one right here is the McCall, which Ryan says is his personal favorite. His second personal favorite is this guy right here. It's called the Tamarack Horizontal Style Wallet. And this guy right here is called the Pay It. A few moments later. I just had to look up the pronunciation of this wallet. It is pronounced Pay It. It could have been Payetti or Payetti, but apparently I got it right, which never happens. I guess there's a first for everything. And of course, you guys saw all of these wallets came in this fabric pouch with the Nalu Leather Company stamp right on the front. That's awesome. And they also came with cards like this. It wasn't focused there, but now it's in focus. You guys can check that out. I'll have all this information in the description box as well. Now let's take a look at each one of these individually. I'm gonna start with the McCall here, which Ryan calls his personal favorite. Now this is a leather wrap vertical style wallet made of two pieces of full grain Wicked and Craig medium brown harness, around three to four ounces. It's all hand saddle stitch with main thread. I'll give you a close up of that stitching right there. Everything looks great, Ryan. And keep in mind, he only started making his own wallet it's in early 2022. It's early 2023. So to get this good in one year, that's an accomplishment, man. Call me impressed because I've been trying to make my own wallets for a little bit now and I am nowhere near the same level as you. Granted, all of my time goes into this YouTube channel, but as a side hobby, I'm, I'm getting better at the wallets, but Let's move on. Since it's two pieces of leather wrapped around itself and then stitched up on the side, that creates two exterior quick access card pockets and one pocket dead center. And the dimensions here are two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Now, Nalu Leather says this can hold between six to eight cards and quartered cash. And let's just test that out real quick. I have eight flat cards. I'm gonna put my most used credit card right there in the back. My other seven, I'm gonna put dead center right here. And guys, this is gonna be really stiff because I haven't carried these at all. This isn't necessarily a review. Just me talking about Nalu as a company, because I thought it was a great story that he got started watching channels like mine and then started his own company. It blows me away, but there you go. Eight cards right there. And then I would put quarter cash right there in the front. Obviously, you're gonna have to fold your bills into quarters for this wallet. And there you go, that's five American dollar bills folded in the quarters, eight bills. And yeah, I've seen a ton of leather wrap wallets of this style. And as far as those types of wallets go, I mean, the quality here is fantastic, man. The stitching here is on point. You burnished and polished the edges and you guys can see this looks fantastic. All the cuts look perfectly straight. So yeah, as a minimalist style vertical leather wrap wallet, I think this is a solid choice. And I should mention the branding right here is on the front of the wallet. You can see that Nalu leather stamp right there. And now let's go to Ryan's second favorite wallet. This is called the Tamarack. This is a horizontal tuck style wallet. It features a quick draw, quick access card pocket on the back. And then there's three interior pockets. So let me explain that. So there's one main pocket right here. The second pocket is right there that's created by the fold. And the third interior pocket that he's counting as a pocket is the tuck closure 
right there on the front. The leather here is a full grain Wicked and Craig russet harness, which is absolutely beautiful. The weight of the leather is three to four ounces, just like the McCall there, and it is hand saddle stitched with that same main thread. The dimensions of the Tamarack are four and a half by three inches when closed. And I love the stamp here, man. As soon as you open up the wallet, you can see that Nalu Leather Company stamp. That is awesome. It just has that same feel of getting a tannery stamp. Obviously, this isn't a tannery stamp, but you guys see what I'm saying. When you open up the wallet and you see that stamp, it just looks great. And this is coming from a guy who does not like branding on wallets. And I should mention, even though there is a tannery stamp, see? I just said tannery stamp. Even though there is the stamp of Nalu Leather Company on the inside, he still put the leather stamp right there on the bottom. But the cool thing here is you don't even see that stamp unless you open up the wall, and I think that's great. The Tamarack here can hold between eight to 10 cards and bills folded in half. Now, let's test that. Let's start with bills folded in half, and obviously I would put my bills in that main large compartment back there. Then I would put my most used credit card right back here in the quick draw, quick access card pocket back there, and then the rest distributed between these two pockets right here. He said eight to 10, so that's one, and I have nine more. I would put nine right here in this second pocket right there, and once again, this is gonna be very tight because I haven't been carrying these. This is the first time I'm stuffing cards in there, so there you go. Nine cards in that second pocket, one in the back, and then tuck that flap right there, and then one more right there in the tuck closure. And yeah, this is gonna be very tight, but yeah, there you go. As of the nature of leather, it's gonna stretch out with use, but there you go, 10 cards, five bills folded in half, nice. Now this is a horizontal style minimalist wallet, which you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of, but I have been coming back a little bit on that. I've carried some awesome modern minimalist wallets that were horizontal style, and it kind of made me take a little step back on my stance of never carrying a horizontal style wallet. And let me tell you what I like about this. First off, it can hold 10 cards, bills folded in half, but I like this design choice right here by Nalu Leather Company. Usually I see these semicircular cutouts the opposite way where it dips down, but I sort of like this, sort of like a, a little sunset right there and even on the front the same with the tuck closure it's not straight across it's not dipping down i like that design choice and i'm sorry i didn't mention the price of the first wallet right here the mccall this is 45 bucks the tamarack right here is 55 bucks so these are very affordable options here and once again for only making wallets for about a year the quality here is very, very good. You can see that for yourself, guys. You can see the stitching, you can see all the leather cuts, the burnishing, everything is on point. And lastly, the third wallet here. This is called the Pay It. 45 bucks for this, and you guys know I absolutely love stitchless wallets. I've said this before, how somebody can just take a design, lay it out, cut it out on a piece of leather, then fold it in a way that makes a wallet that's functional. It's just something I can't do. So that right there is a skill all within itself. So check this guy out, man. This is made from a limited run of some Catalina double shoulder in green. This is a leather that I am not familiar with, but check out that marbling on that leather. I'm not sure if you guys can see that marbling in the dark green. It is gorgeous. So once again, Ryan put the Nalu Leather Company stamp right there on the flap. I like it. And then another stamp right there on the bottom. The Paya can hold 10 to 12 cards plus bills either folded in half or full length. And there's one main pocket right here in the back, a fairly large main pocket right there. Another pocket that's created by this fold. I guess you could technically count this tuck closure right here as another pocket and then a quick access card pocket right there in the back. So let's start with the same five American dollar bills. I'm gonna start with these unfolded as so, and yes, they will fit. Just having a tough time getting them in there, but there we go. And just like most stitchless wallets, those tabs sometimes inhibit putting cards or bills in there just because of how it's designed. You see those tabs going to the bottom and sometimes they have little pieces of leather that stop items from going in and that's what's happening right here. So the way around that is putting cards first like that to create sort of a buffer. And once you have that buffer that sort of blocks those tabs from anything going into the wallet, then those bills should insert pretty cleanly and there we go. So that works pretty well. Generally, I don't like doing this with my minimalist wallets just because I only carry cash for emergency purposes and these bills, I don't want them flopping all around. Yes, I know you can hold it like this, but it's a lot easier if you just fold your bills in half 
and stuff them back there like this. And now they're out of the way. But once again, with almost every single stitchless wallet that I have, it creates those little blockers on the inside because those tabs have to go somewhere. So it's best just to put cards in there first. This eight flat cards, and look at that. There is tons of room back there. That's eight cards. And then I would put one more right there in that front pocket and then one more right back here in that quick access card pocket. That's 10. Let's just go for the max here. He said 12, there's two more cards. Stuff them in the back, not a problem. 12 cards, tuck in that flap. That flap is gonna be a little tight, but there we go. 12 total cards, there's no cash in there right now, but handles those 12 cards like a champ. And I already mentioned the price, this is 45 bucks, and I'm really interested in this Catalina double shoulder leather right here. This is the first wallet I have with this leather. And you can see the sheen on that. That is very, very glossy. It looks fantastic with that marbling. You can see the grain right there in the light. I really like that leather. The McCall right here, 45 bucks, and the Tamarack right here, 55 bucks. So yeah, Ryan, for only doing this for a year, I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, my favorite would probably be this stitchless wallet right here, just because I like stitchless wallets. Um, I have a ton of leather wrap wallets of this style. And comparing this leather wrap wallet to all the other versions that I have, I mean, the quality is right there. So you should be proud of the work you're doing even after only a year. That's pretty awesome. And then this guy right here, it's horizontal style minimalist wallet. I know you guys out there love horizontal style wallets, even over the vertical style. And like I said, these are pretty affordable options, even at 55 bucks. And I mentioned at the beginning of my video, I would give you guys that discount code that Ryan gave me in this leather right here. That discount code is CRISPY10. Now that's for 10% off and that's for anything in his ready to ship items. And I'm not really sure what his ready to ship items are, but you guys should know that I don't think he has a website yet either. It says to contact him only on Instagram with the handle naluleather.co. I'll put all that information down below in my description box if you guys want to send Ryan a DM and make sure you guys give him that discount code crispy10 to get 10% off. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the wallets from Nalu Leather Company? Now, if you like what Ryan's doing over there at Nalu, and if you wanna check out those wallets for yourself, I will put links down below in my description box along with that discount code. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!